Hello friends, welcome back. If this is the first video that you're watching of mine, this is going to be a real baptism of fire. Um, that said, it's probably a really good introduction to me as a person. I'm Michaela. I planned a vow renewal with my husband for our 10th wedding anniversary and I lost my mind and bought 20 wedding dresses. <laughs> In a nutshell, that's basically what happened. I bought lots of secondhand wedding dresses because I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but obviously you buy them secondhand, they're not quite right, they don't fit, you can't send them back. And now I have a rail of wedding dresses that in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, eventually I'll sell them. It's been a year and I have not yet listed any of them on eBay. I actually went to um, Meadow Hall the other day thinking, I'm just gonna try some on. I'm just gonna go into a shop and try some on. Do you know there's like no shops open anymore? <laughs> I miss Debenhams, number one, because that would have been the place I'd have gone. Coast, monsoon, everything is closed. There's no high street anymore. This is the first time I'm really experiencing that properly because I really wanted to go and try some things on in person and I couldn't. So I'm gonna do now what I should have done in the first place and try on a bunch of dresses from ASOS and just send back the ones that aren't right. Maybe that's gonna be all of them. We're gonna find out. I've got a few back here that are from ASOS and still available, so I'll throw those in as well. Um, but I have one big one in a box. I have no idea which one that is. Well, that's not true. There is, I think I probably do. And then a bag of them. Some of these are wedding dresses. Some of them are bridesmaids dresses. I think one of them is just a white dress because it is a Vegas renewal. So I'm just kind of looking for something not too bridally, but I did, I did put in a wild card that is like full bride. I opened the little bag first and it actually had the big dress in there that I thought might be in here. Really impressed with this. Full on box with some tissue paper in there and then inside is this bag and there's a hanger, a wooden hanger and it's managed to stay on the hanger which is a miracle. This is the one that when I was looking last night and placing the order that they had this one and they had like the same thing but in a kind of creamy colour. This is the one that I had the most hope for. Let's save that one. I'll start with this one. I don't think it's right colour wise. Um, I really really like the idea of this and online. To be fair when you put it up against me it doesn't look as pink as it does. I mean maybe. It's blush um, and it did say that it was blush but the pictures made it look more creamy and I think that it said ecru even though it said it was blush in the title. So I'm going to try it on all the same. Even on the label you see it does say ecru. That's not pink right? It's actually a really beautiful dress. I'm gonna to have to cut my head out so you can actually see the rest of the dress. Also, no, I haven't done my hair and makeup because I don't wanna try these dresses on and risk getting any kind of makeup on them because I know that the majority, if not all, are going back. So just, you know, pretend, pretend, make believe. Um, I really like this dress. I think it's really pretty. I love this, this kind of draping. Um, and the back is really nice too. I couldn't zip it up quite all the way. I'm not a big fan of this material. It's kind of crepe on the bottom, but satin on the top, which is weird. And also this draping here, I like this because it gives the illusion of a waist for someone that's fairly wasteless like me, but I don't like that this then kind of makes this pointless, do you know? But I do really like it. I think as a bridesmaid's dress, this is really beautiful. Um, and this is a very nice, it's a very nice fee for reference. I'm a size 10 to 12 depending on where I shop and um, I'm like five foot three. This is a 10, everything I ordered was a 10. This one I kept going back to online. Whenever I saw it, I thought I really, really like the way that this kind of cinches in here. I like a wrap dress anyway, um, but I have a couple of issues with it. Number one, I have a very visible tattoo and although there is a double lining, you can fully see that through this dress. Um, number two, this comes way too high in the middle. I don't mind like a high thigh split, that's fine, but when it's like right in the middle of the dress, as you're walking, you're definitely gonna be flashing people because this is not conducive with like any kind of modesty right there. Um, otherwise, I do quite like the dress. I think that, you know, if you've got nothing, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell that it was see-through um, had it not been for my tattoo, but that is a thing that I look for in this kind of, especially with it being white. In this kind of material. I love the cowl back, that is absolutely gorgeous. Feels really comfortable, um, again it's that kind of crepey material, it was one of the cheaper ones. I'm not, again this as well, I'm not super keen on, I don't quite like the way th this particular neckline is kind of hitting me, I don't, I don't particularly like that, I think I would prefer it to be maybe like further apart or lower, I don't know, this feels like too much. 
It's, it's almost like kind of togery, do you know? Um, but yeah, most of the problem I have with it is this. This is the wild card. And I can't tell you that I don't love it a little bit. So this one, like I never had a proper wedding dress the first time around. Um, this is amazing. I think this might even be the first time I've ever tried on anything like even remotely wedding dressy. Um, and if you were looking for something that is like really kind of princessy but on a budget I think this is really lovely uh, and it's not too expensive at all I mean much much cheaper than your average wedding dress move the camera back a tiny bit so you can really take it all in I kind of love it honestly that I even love like I really like this the the part at the bottom of the the skirt it's so beautiful and say this has just come out of a box and it looks like this it feels like a legit Princess dress, part of me is really, really sorely tempted to do this because this is just not at all what I thought I wanted to do. And then I put it on and was like, oh wow. When am I gonna get to do this again? My only problem is it feels kind of weird around here. I'm not sure whether or not it's because I'm kind of, I'm so short in, the, I'm like short waisted, so short in the body that like if I do this, the zip part, I suppose if I like lean on that side, it's not as bad. But where the zip is, it kind of like bunches up. Um, so like, I don't know if I just kind of like favor that hip, because as I was taking a picture, I was like, oh, I don't like that. And then the back kind of seems weirdly baggy. You see what I mean? Um, as if it's supposed to have more space to kind of ruch over. I don't know. But I would be interested to see what you guys think of this, because it's like full on Disney princess. Just had to document my attempt at getting into this dress. I wasn't looking in the mirror while I was doing it. I was just kind of pulling it up and I was like, this fits really weird, what is going on? And then I pulled this over my shoulder and thought, this is, something's gone wrong here. So this was my second favorite one when I was looking online. I do still feel like I need to kind of shuffle it into the right place because it feels like this isn't quite where it's supposed to be. And I do think that for my shape, this is the nicest so far. I think that it kind of flatters the shape that I am in that it kind of gives me, you know, it gives me some, some curve. Um, I'll tell you why I don't like this. And I'm really disappointed because I'm looking in the mirror like, this is a beautiful dress. I feel really nice in this dress. I feel good about myself in this dress. Um, it would need to be taken up a fair amount because I'm on my tippy tippy toes and it is, way, way, way on the floor, but I love this. I love where the waist is. I love this on the hips. I love the kind of slightly flared out. I, I love everything about it. It's got some stretch to it as well. So it kind of feels like that's what's giving me that curve. Um, I hate the material. It's the material feels so, so cheap. Uh, I mean, it looks so creased and it's gonna look creased. So let's just check. It's not as bad as the other one. It's not as bad as the other one. I am going to wear whatever I wear. I'm going to wear some fairly thick nude um, whatever underneath just to make sure that you can't see my tattoo through whatever dress I'm wearing. But um, yeah, this is such a disappointment because the especially in Vegas, it just already feels kind of like it would be clammy. But it reminds me of like stretchy trousers we used to have in the 90s, like that like stretch material. I had a pair of Morgan black trousers I wore for school and when they got wet they like massively expanded. They were just a really kind of cheap material. Um, so because of that material that's why it fits so nicely but unfortunately it's what makes me hate it. You can kind of, can you can you hear what material it is? It's almost like a textured stretch. A real shame but it's completely opened me up to a different um, style of dress because originally I was all in for like a cowl neck um, kind of sheath dress. And um, this makes me want to look at different necklines. Although, just pointing out that I did just take some pictures in it. It looks a lot nicer on camera than it, it feels in real life. It looks kind of like sleek, like it looks more um, crepe and like cottony in photos. Um, and, I really do like it. I, lo I love the way it looks. It's the feel. 
And ultimately, because this is not actually going to be a wedding dress that I wear for a day, it's literally an hour or so. Um, I might not say definitely not just yet. So now for the exciting part. This one is also um, a different neckline. I haven't, ha -ha, haven't seen it yet. It's a halter. Like I said, there, there was one originally that I kept going back to that is kind of a, was a creamier colour. And I do think that probably the creamier colour would be nicer for me. Um, but it's exactly the same dress. So I thought, I'll try it. I'm very indecisive. So I'm trying to make some snap judgments here and it's a no. Um, I like it in theory, here are my problems. Because I'm short-waisted, this is kind of coming up to the middle of my waist, which is great because it because of how it's caught, it kind of hits at your waist, wherever that is. But this then is a lot more material than I think it would normally be. Also, maybe if my boobs were bigger, this would be stretched out. No, this is all supposed to be drapey. Um, I really like the kind of idea of the halter. I think that that's really um, lovely. And especially like the Vegas element. I, I've seen a lot of Vegas brides wear a similar kind of dress, which is what led me to this in the first place. Um, the back, I've only got me and I can't do this properly. So I've kind of done up the back a bit strange. The main thing that I don't like about this is this. This is too thick. And I have kind of an issue with um, wearing anything, like even like polo neck jumpers, because I feel like they just close my face in. Uh, I need what neck I have. I, I don't really need to lose the neck I have with a load of material. So if this was thinner, if this was kind of like a, even like a strap or a chain, I think I would really, really like this dress, even in spite of this maybe being a little bit too much. This plus this being as thick as it is, it's a no. Um, it's a beautiful dress, really gorgeous quality. You actually can see through this more than any of the others, um, but still. But no, it's not right. This was the kind of dress that I thought I was gonna end up wearing. Now, I mean, even as I'm wearing it now, I prefer it to when I tried it on yesterday. But this arrived yesterday. I actually tried it on in All Saints the weekend. They didn't have this color, uh, but I tried a few different sizes and I ended up with this in a 10 um, from ASOS because it was the only place that had it in stock. I love this dress, I really do. P compared to all the other dresses that I've just tried on, it's like, it feels like I can move in it. It feels really breathable. I don't feel kind of like hot. And again, remembering it's Vegas, I don't feel like, oh my God, I'm so warm. Um, it's really comfortable to wear. I really like the color. I love the neckline. What I would like is for it to be slightly lower in the back for me and for my shape. I really like the, the slits in the sides and the length. Gorgeous, love everything. Um, I don't love this. I just want it to be slightly more shaped. Now, when I was talking about this yesterday in my vlog when I tried it on, I did say, well, you know, there are tweaks that I could make, um, but I decided that I don't wanna have to make tweaks. I just wanna find something that I put on and I'm like, this is the one. And so that is the reason that I'm not keeping this one. But I would probably have this as just a regular dress in another color, because I think I'm only um, conscious of like my shape and my midsection in this color, because I tried different ones on and really, really liked this dress. Um, it's beautiful, really gorgeous. I can't explain how soft and comfortable it is, um, but it's not the one. This is the one that when I've posted about it, people are like, yes, 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 that's the one, that's the one. Okay, and I hear you, and I want it to be the one, kind of. This was the one that I tracked down. Um, it, they didn't have it on ASOS at the time in my size, everything was sold out, um, and I managed to find it half price on Vinted, never worn, which was incredible. So if you bought this from ASOS directly, this I believe is one of the ones that would come in the box because it did come in a bag. Um, I love this dress, I really, really do. It absolutely screams Vegas, but I think I had in my mind an idea of a Vegas wedding with a, like a little white dress. This is a big white dress. This is very, very sparkly. It's beautiful and in an ideal world, what I would do is have the ceremony, have some photos taken before in a little white dress, like something kind of sleek. Um, and then swap into this for like 10 minutes at the end, take some photos, go back to the casino, take some photos in this dress. This is Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. But is this what I would want to be wearing in my wedding photos forever? Because part of this trip as well, we didn't really, because we didn't have a big wedding, we had some um, photos taken, my dad took some photos for us, but we never had like 
wedding photos. So these will be in lieu of our wedding photos. And I kind of want to go for something a little simpler. So I'm at the moment still keeping this dress because if I can kind of throw this on as a, a fun extra little bit of something as the sun goes down and the neon comes on and everything's kind of glitzy already, um, then that's what we'll do. But I really want something that I put on and it's kind of, um, it makes me feel kind of sleek and sexy for the actual ceremony. Um, but just, you know, this is beautiful. Um, I, you can't you can even, even tell. Let me see if I can walk far enough so you can actually see. It has actually got a train. You can't tell, can you? But it has got a train of material. Um, the sparkles are super, super dense right at the top. And then they go to be less and less and less towards the bottom. I mean, imagine this. Imagine with the sparkle of Vegas. I get it. And I think regardless, I'm taking this with us, even if we just go and take some pictures. Um, but it's not really quite ticking the box for me for the actual dress. I think realistically, that's probably all of them going back to ASOS, uh, which is a shame, but I have seen some others on other websites. Perhaps we'll try some more on. Um, but I would like to hear from you if you thought any of them were like, you must rethink this. Um, but none of them made me feel like, yes, this is the one. The only one that I was wow, wow, wow um, was the big ball gown kind of princessy one. Uh, but the skirt, I mean, the skirt was absolutely amazing. The top I didn't love, um, but it's definitely made me consider possibly trying some full skirt dresses. Anyway, thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Um, I will be posting some of the ones, I didn't try them on, but some of the ones that uh, I already had, that I tried on previously and have decided, I mean, for example, and I really don't wanna, but this one is the one that a couple of people asked me to say, as and when I put this on somewhere, it's so gorgeous. And I tried it on again the other day and was like, maybe, and just for a split second, I considered making it shorter because the back is incredible but I can't do it to this dress because it's it's got kind of a train and it's just too beautiful it's too beautiful to do that to the dress so I'm going to put that one on <laughs> you don't want to it's not even available on ASOS anymore um I'm going to put that one on it on Vinted tonight because I, ha I can't I can't have all of these dresses I just can't uh so if you're interested that will be below and if you've got anywhere that you'd like you know to recommend try this i know a couple of people have said try real wedding dress shops but i'm really looking for something that i feel like i can't find at a wedding dress shop it might be that i'm looking for something that i can't find full stop and maybe that's the problem 